mind when you think of a castle, eh? Oh, I've got a list here with loads of things on it. <laughs> now, do you think of a castle with lots of towers, a moat and soldiers? Oh, uh, that's what Milo imagines. Uh, or perhaps like Bella. A fairy castle which floats on clouds with pointy turrets and magic. Lots of magic. Now, when Jake thinks of a castle, he thinks... I think castles might be a bit big and dark and scary. Oh, I hope I never see one like that. Now, Fizz has her own idea of a castle. I think a castle should definitely have towers and water all around. Oh, and a princess who lives high up in one of the towers. Hmm. Well, this is Heaver Castle. And I think it fits the bill as far as Fizz's Princess Castle is concerned. But does it match up to what everyone else thinks? Well, I'll just have a look at the list of things I've got to try to find. Now, uh, uh, drawbridge, oh, portcullis, moat, turrets, massive staircase, oh, a huge room with a long table, four poster bed, old paintings, Oh, clothes they wore in olden times, swords and spears, oh, and the list goes on and on. Well, I'm looking for a castle fit for a king. Oh, oh, oh I look like old King Cole. <laughs> old King Cole was a merry old soul, and a merry old soul was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddlers three. <laughs> oh, in fact, I think I look more like old King Max. <laughs> Come on, then, let's have a closer look to see what we can find round the castle. Water goes all the way round the castle, and it's called a moat. It helped to protect the people inside the castle. Oh, <laughs> looks a bit cold. <laughs> I wonder if there's any fish in there. <laughs> oh. oh, now this is a drawbridge. Now, it could be pulled up by the people in the castle when they were being attacked, and the attackers couldn't get in because, well, they couldn't cross the water. <laughs> Ah, 
<laughs> now, this is a huge wooden gate that was raised and lowered, so it went up and down. <laughs> and, well, this helped protect people in the castle as well. Those points look a bit sharp, though, don't they? <laughs> Oh, now, just look at all these old paintings, eh? <laughs> ah, now this is a painting of King Henry VIII. He often used to visit this castle. <laughs> Isn't it grand, eh? <laughs> oh, no soldiers yet, Milo. Oh, no, look at all these stairs I've got to climb. Now this is called the Long Room, and I think I know why. Because it's very long! <laughs> well, you need a long room if you've got a long table. But if I sat down here and asked for a cup of tea, I bet I'd have a long wait. <laughs> oh, look at that old-fashioned furniture. Wood panels, paintings, and that huge tapestry! Now, a tapestry is a picture that has been sewn with needles and thread. The picture's made up of lots of little stitches. Oh, oh, oh very grand. Oh, that is a fantastic bed. It's huge! And it's got four posts. Look. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, the people that lived and slept here used to pull the curtains all around the bed because it was so drafty in here. No central heating then, I can tell you. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> More stairs. <laughs> well, it's lucky I've got my climbing boots on. <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, we're at the top of one of the towers now. You can see for miles. Oh, it's a long way up and a long way down. I think I know now how Fizzy's princess felt when she was at the top of her tower. Calling her Milo away. 
Now, Bella wanted to know what the people of olden times wore. Well, the people who lived in this castle were all very grand people with very grand clothes, <laughs> as you can see. This is King Henry VIII and his wife, Anne Boleyn. Oh, uh, very nice to meet you both. And may I say, what a very nice place you've got here. You must come and visit me sometime. <laughs> oh, well, they don't say much, but they seem like very nice people. <laughs> right. Like your hat. <coughs> ah, now Milo would like this place. He wanted to see some swords and weapons. Yeah, and these are all the things they used in battle. Ooh. <laughs> well, this all looks a bit dangerous to me. Think I'll move on to somewhere a bit more peaceful. Castles are very grand, and the people who lived in them were very grand too. Now, there have been many stories told about castles and kings and queens and princesses, and I've got one here about a castle and a giant. Right. It's called Into the Castle. On the hill is a castle. Let's go and see. They say a monster lives inside, but no, that couldn't be. Round the castle is a moat where slimy green things grow. They say the monster swims in there, but well, that was years ago. Across the moat is a drawbridge which creaks and groans, they say, because the monster stamps across, but no one's here today. Beyond the drawbridge is a yard with a deep well built of stone. They say the monster comes to drink, but look, it's overgrown. Across the yard is a passage with a worn stone floor. They say the monster made it worn. How can they be sure? Along the passage is a flight of steps, curving underground. They say the monster thunders down, but I can't hear a sound. Down the steps is a heavy door with a lock and an iron key. I've never heard them speak of that, so open the door and see. It's a dark door. Dank dungeon with a bed and a wooden chair. But who is sitting very still in the shadows there? It's the monster, run! Out of the door, up the steps, along the passage, across the yard, over the drawbridge, across the moat, down the hill and far away. The monster won't catch us today. But just a minute, what's that shout? Thanks for letting me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've seen all sorts of things today inside Hever Castle. Old paintings, a four-poster bed, swords and spears. Oh, and I can just see the tweenies standing to attention outside and guarding the castle. Can you? <laughs> She's off until she's out of sight. Bye! <laughs> oh, yes, very smart. Four little soldiers standing in a row. They all bow down to Her Majesty so. They look to the left, they look to the right. One marches off until he's out of sight. Up, two, three, four. Splendid! Three little soldiers standing in a 
row. They all bow down to Her Majesty so. They look to the left, they look to the right. One marches off until she's out of sight. Left, right. It's spotless. Two little soldiers standing in a row. They both bow down to Her Majesty so. They look to the left, they look to the right. One marches off. Until he's out of sight. Two, three, four. Sparkling turnout. One little soldier standing on his own. He bows down to Her Majesty's stone. He looks to the left. He looks to the right. He marches off until he's out of sight. Thank you, Majesty. Oh, what a wonderful display of super smart soldiers. Fall out. Uh, oh, they have. Well, now, what do we know about castles? Well, they're big, old, strong, full of wonderful things from the past. <laughs> oh, remember some of them. I've had a right royal time at Hever Castle, <laughs> and now I think it's time for me to get back to my own little 